Did you know that you could get SQL Server onto your computer absolutely free? Hello, I'm Philip Burton of IDoData.com. So SQL Server 2022 has just been made available for general availability. In other words, anyone can download it. And there are several different editions of SQL Server. So we have got the Premium Enterprise Edition, the slightly cut back but a lot cheaper Standard Edition, and then we've also got the Developer Edition. So this includes all of the functionality of this high-end Enterprise Edition. However, it is licensed for use as a development and test system, not as a production server. So in other words, if you want to learn SQL Server on your own computer, you can use the Developer Edition and have all of the functionality of the Enterprise System. You just can't use it in production. There's also the Express version, which is a more cut down version. Now, you don't need to actually have Windows Server to install SQL Server. In fact, the minimum requirements for SQL Server are actually fairly low. Only six gigabytes of available hard drive space and one gigabyte of memory. However, the thing you will need is a 64-bit processor. So to see whether your computer has a 64-bit processor, open up Windows Explorer and go to My Computer or This PC, right and click and go to Properties and you should see somewhere about a 64-bit operating system or x64 or a 32-bit operating system. If you've got a 32-bit operating system, then you would need to find and install SQL Server 2014. That's the latest version that you can use. So if I was to do that, I would Google SQL Server 2014 Developer Edition, click on this news article, and then click on this. So it is a free download for Visual Studio Dev Essentials members, which is a free thing that you can join. And then you can search for SQL Server Developer 2014 and download the service pack free. So if you want to install SQL Server, you can do it on your own desktop or laptop. So you click on the Developer Edition Download Now button and it downloads what's called a bootstrap. So a very small program that will take you through installing the rest of it. So this gives me then three choices, basic, custom, or download media. So basic just gives you the default configuration and these other two allow you to customize it. Now I do have a full video on how to install SQL Server 2022 Developer Edition together with the various options that you can have. So you should find a link to that in this video. So once you have downloaded this, then you will get to this screen. So this screen here, the SQL Server Installation Center, it gives you a lot of hyperlinks. You don't need to worry about any of those. You just go to the left hand side installation and then click on new SQL Server standalone installation. So once you know which options to tick or not to tick, and you'll see that in my video, it's a fairly straightforward installation. That gives you the back end. And then the front end is SQL Server Management Studio. And for that, you need to click on this link, which will give you this web page. And then you can scroll down and then click on the free download. Now, the great news is all of this is free. So you've got SQL Server 2022 Developer Edition, that's free, and SQL Server Management Studio, that's also free. So once you've installed that, then if you open SQL Server Management Studio, you'll be asked which server name to connect to. So if it is a local one on your computer, then you can either have the dot or local host, one word. If not, then click on the drop down, click on browse for more, expand database engine, and then select your server. So I'm going to connect to my local default instance. So click connect, and there we are. If I then want to create databases, I could, for instance, right and click on databases and go to new database. And I can also create my queries by clicking on new query, typing in my query. So let's type a very basic one. 
and click Execute, and you'll see the results there. So from SSMS, you can then create queries and you can do database administration. For example, you might be looking at changing the logins, giving permissions, that sort of thing. Now, if you're interested in other aspects of SQL Server, like SQL Server reporting services, integration services, or the two different versions of analysis services, then you will also need an additional program. And that program is Visual Studio 2022 Community Edition. So if I go here and click on the drop down, you'll see we can download the Community Edition. So from there, you can install extensions to allow you to access SSRS, SSAS, or SSIS. So for more information about how to install Visual Studio 2022 Community Edition, together with the extensions. Again, there should be a link to one of my videos on how to install Visual Studio Community 2022 edition. So SQL Server, you've got a back end, the SQL Server 2022 Developer Edition, a front end, which is either going to be SQL Server Management Studio SSMS for creating your queries and database administration, or Visual Studio Community 2022 edition for SSIS, SSAS and SSRS, and it's all completely free and it can all be installed on most desktops and laptops. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then why not click the like and then subscribe and click that bell. That way you'll be notified of any new videos. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thank you very much for watching and keep learning.